Hi, everybody. It's Jen Henriksen with Jen's Travel Journeys and Cruise Planners. Today, I've got a quick tip for you if you're traveling with Royal Caribbean. Um, I want to give you, I want to share my screen with you and talk a little bit about booking shore excursions. Um, we're going to go to royalcaribbean.com. In the upper right hand corner, you're going to sign in. And once you do, it's going to open up the screen that tells you everything about what's going on with your cruise. Now, something I want you to know about shore excursions if we're going to Cozumel, there's only so many operators in Cozumel. Now, I know there's a lot of operators, but if you go to someplace like Alaska, there's a lot fewer operators to do the same type of tours. So what I want you to keep in mind is no matter how you book a shore excursion, a lot of times you're talking about using the same providers. The same suppliers are providing that excursion. So it's just a matter of how you book it. My personal opinion is double check, you know, check two sources. That way you know that you you're price shopping, you are making sure it has everything that you need. And by that, I mean, if we have more mobility issues, we don't want to walk as far, check with the supplier first. A lot of times the cruise line is going to offer a, an excursion that is going from um, the where you exit the ship, they'll have transportation to get you where you're going, usually a bus. I'm going to click right here in the upper hand corner, shore excursions. And we're going to see a list that we can sort of all the different things that they have going on. Now, these little flags are telling me that I waited too long for these particular ones. They had more limited space. And these are telling me that not many people have been signing up for it. If they're starting to discount it in the days before the cruise, they're wanting more people. So um, a lot of times you'll see as the spots become fewer, they, they take off the discounts. It, it's just standard sales. But shop through, uh, you know, click on one, see what see what the parameters are, make sure you're checking your mobility, how long it's going to be. A lot of times you're you're going to find out they are well within the parameters of when your ship is in port. That's all been pre done for you. But it is your responsibility to make sure that we have the right day, the right time, and you're going to be back before your ship docks. Um, it's a whole other thing to tell you about the docking schedules, but all of the providers have that schedule as well. And usually what we see on the travel agency side is they're sending an email to you, letting you know your time has been adjusted before you get a notification from the cruise line saying they're going to leave port earlier or something like that if there's a change. So just know they've got your back on that. But it's your job to read. This particular one is a strenuous one and read the details, any of the restrictions that they have, what's included, what's not, and the price. Remember that if you're booking directly through Royal Caribbean, it goes right onto the app. It's all going to show up in that same area because it's booked with the supplier. If you book it from a third party supplier in uh, our cruise planners travel agency uses shore excursions group and the reason we do that is because it offers a different variety of of excursions um it is commissionable travel agents get paid on commission and shore excursions booked with a supplier are not commissionable that doesn't mean they are less expensive so we like to give our clients two options they you know it may be a different type of a tour it may be less Less expensive, more expensive. That's why I'm saying shop uh, two sources to make sure that you're good with um, whatever shore excursions you're picking. Uh, same deal. If we booked with shore excursions, I'll just show you this screen. If we booked, um, we booked this tour. You click on the full details, you're going to see it's really set up basically the same way. All the different types of uh, restrictions, things you need to know, descriptions, all of that. But any way you go, no matter how you're booking it, you want to make sure that you are looking at the reviews. Because remember, I said the suppliers in an area have a finite number. There's only a certain number of suppliers that offer that tour. And excursions are hot hot topic. They're a hot sales item. So a lot of people like to book them. If a lot of people are not happy with the supplier, they're usually very vocal. So the best place to see that is on the reviews. And remember, temperate, usually people that are grumpy and upset tend to vocalize a lot more than people that had a great time. But if the numbers are high, both on the star level and the number of reviews, you're doing great. That's a great tour to pick. If they're low, it doesn't necessarily mean they're bad. It might mean they're 
they're a new provider. And we're seeing a lot of that post COVID too, because we lost a lot of our small town, more family owned business uh, providers for excursions during COVID with three years with no income. So um, just do your homework is the bottom line, but know you have multiple ways to book it. Just as a side tip for you, if you have travel protection through your cruise line, make sure usually everybody offers two levels and one level is cruise only and a platinum level or a higher uh, higher level travel protection includes any excursions that are booked with them either way you go you want to know are your excursions covered under your travel protection even if you've paid from for on an outside third party you just want to make sure you're covered in case of emergency so there's some tips for you on booking shore excursions with Royal Caribbean. Any questions, feel free to reach out to me um, and have a great day. Thanks for watching.